Hi, my name is Dr. Christopher Yuan, and, and I'm here to tell you about my crazy story, um, which really begins with a crazy savior and a crazier God who comes to save crazy sinners. So I wasn't raised in a Christian home, but I wrestled with my sexuality and um, my parents, you know, were not born, they were not born in America, they were born in China, but I wrestled with my sexuality from a young age and I didn't tell anyone until in my early 20s. And it was at that point that I came out of the closet and I began living openly as a gay man. I told my parents through that crisis, my mother came to faith and then my father came to faith. While I went the opposite direction, while I was pursuing my doctorate in dentistry, I actually got expelled from dental school because I was partying, doing drugs. Not all gay men do drugs, but unfortunately I did. And then I went in the totally opposite direction as my parents and I moved from Louisville, Kentucky, where I was going to dental school to Atlanta, where I kept doing what I knew how to do best, which was have fun and sell drugs. Eventually I was caught and I found myself in jail. And it was there that God finally got my attention. I found a Bible in the trash can. I began reading it. And it was then that God began to really reveal to me what it meant to be a Christian and what it meant to not put my identity in my sexuality because for so long I had put my sole identity in being gay. This is who I was, not what I felt, not what I did, but who I was. And I realized that sexuality is not who I am, but how I am. And as I kept reading the Word of God, I realized that there's that we had to not only put our identity on Him, but we need to submit it to Him, submit to Him, and to live a life in joy and submission. And that's when we really find our true self in Christ. And so I actually ended up serving. I was supposed to get 10 years to life. I got was sentenced to six. Miraculously, the judge shortened it to three years. I during my last year of prison, I was called to full time ministry, and then I applied to Bible college. I got accepted to Bible college while I was in prison and I started right after prison. So I always tell people, you know, um, I, I, when people ask me, my students, they ask me, what did you do this summer? <laughs> I was like, be careful what you, what you ask for. And um, I went on to get my master's in exegesis and went on to get my doctorate. And now I'm in full-time ministry speaking on the, uh, the gospel and sexuality along with my parents. But again, this is my crazy testimony that really is about a crazy God that loves us in a crazy way, uh, even though we might be crazy sinners. God bless you guys.